Привет, ютуберс! Привет! Спасибо, что вы подсоединились в наш канал. Anyway, this video is gonna be kind of like a about us video. It's kind of like a me, um, Tatiana or Tanya. That's another form of Tatiana. It's like Michael and Mike. And uh, I'm Katya. I yeah. go by Kat or Trina. Trina, Katrina. Katrina. Yeah, just uh, it's Katie. all kind of the same exact name. So um, we're just gonna kind of talk about who we are, why we're on YouTube, why we're like sitting here making videos together. Um, so as you guys must know already, we are sisters. Why are we? Why are we making YouTube videos? Hmm. Well, I'm making YouTube videos because <laughs> I want to record songs and. Um, She's a singer, you guys. Yes, I'm just nervous and about a songwriter. One thing I have, you know, a few of my own songs that I have written last year actually starting last year it's a new thing t for me oh my gosh we have to film spike but i'm so nervous because i feel like Just there's kind of there's a meanie out there that might steal one of my songs so i'm not gonna do that because she wrote yeah. she wrote them herself and they are oh yeah incredible so, I love them and thank you, sweetie. Oh my gosh, this is this our is kitten Spike. Our kitty cat Spike. We are the cat ladies. Hold on, you can't see his face. I don't want you in the video because it's not really safe. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. But he pees on our bed like, every, every night. Day. <laughs> we have so, to change her sheets. Oh my gosh. He's tight. He's about two months old. So cute. If you guys remember my videos from like three years ago, I always had a cat in one of them. Like one of them <laughs> died. Sadly, it was. The, the, Let's oh. Get him out before he runs away. Oh. <laughs> he just—he was one of them that kind of never Yay. got trained. Yay. There was five of them. Oh, so We're actually cute. giving them You're away done. for free. So yes. if you guys live in South Florida, message me, <laughs> and we'll arrange a little meeting, and I'll give you the cats. Yeah. So Tanya, um, why are you making YouTube videos? I'm, like, uh, I'm making YouTube videos. I used to make them. I don't. It's just fun. Like it's kind of a fun place to go and kind of spew out all of your creative mm -hmm. energy that maybe you don't have the opportunity to do during the day because you're busy or just because you're shy. So I feel like you can really be yourself on camera and you really can. kind of have fun and it kind of like even though um, Katrina and I are very close, I don't know, it kind of helps us bond and learn new mm -hmm. things and things that maybe um, I miss out on during the day, like little uh, quirks or whatever, I kind of hear on camera like, mm, you know what I mean? So, um, so our relationship, we are very, 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 very close. We're not twins, but sometimes we feel like we are. We twins. are. And um, because we're so close, and we became very close about, I would say about uh, when I was when like, you were fourteen. When I was I fourteen, so yeah, I used to travel around six, seven years ago. So um, yeah. yeah, and so when I finally like, I had a season where I got to live back in our hometown. Oh, he sneezed. Um, that's when we started bonding. Yeah, we. Yeah, Come we, here, sweetie, can you take him out of the room because I feel... Oh, oh this is a oh, this gum is drop. Oh, this is gum drop. This is such a good kitty. I oh, my gosh. Him. We need to get these little cuties out of the room. And then Toulouse is on the floor. Here, sweetie. Yeah, can you get them? There's Marie, gum drop, Berlioz, uh, there Marie, is. and Spike, oh, which you guys know already. Right, look at him. He's all black. It's and, just bare, and he has a little... Yeah. Looks like a diaper. Where yeah. is it? I don't want to do his legs. Spread his legs apart. It looks he like a little like diaper. It. It's so he might pee. Yeah. The mom wasn't too good about potty training them. Yeah, but pretty much we're we're um super close and mm -hmm. we've been so blessed to kind of um yeah. be together for the past year and a half. <laughs> like it's so weird, but about uh almost two years ago we both um moved out of um where we used to be. Should I say it? Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> we love that place. We li we lived there for about 15 to 16 years. But we are from, I'll save that for later. Anyway, about two years ago, we moved out to the Midwest. I won't say to what city, just because we do, vi we will visit yeah. it very frequently. And, um, I love it. yeah, we were, just we were doing, um, an internship over there, and then I was going to a private university. And mm -hmm. then I finally moved from there to South Florida, of all places, and we're both going to be, um, starting, uh, a, a, a school here in Florida this yeah. fall together. And we're not going to say which school or anything, yeah. but. I'm going back to school, so I'm so excited and uh, we have a long road ahead of us 
We do. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you want to become? I'm going to become a uh, doctor in psychology, so I'm working towards my PhD in psychology, and that's going to take me about 10 years. And you can do it. And I can do it. Yeah, she has the brains for it. Thank you. And the perseverance. <laughs> um, I really want to... Well, I'm undecided. I want to go either into the medical field or nursing. Now, I know if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish the, the toughest thing in life, you know, which for some, like me, uh, being a doctor one day in the future is like a great accomplishment for me because like it seems like a dream that's so impossible, but yet it's so possible. If you just try, if you work hard, set your mind, um, you can get there, you know, anything. Yeah. If you just don't slack off, just put everything you have and just do it, um, be, stay focused. But anyways, I, you know, if I decide uh, after my four, first four years that I don't want to jump into medical school, then I would love to be a nurse practitioner. Yeah, and what Kat was saying about um, going out and persevering and doing it, you really can do it. Like, it kind of yeah. doesn't really matter on how you were raised and how you grew up because... Personally speaking, from one woman to another, we didn't have the best childhood. Mm. We weren't raised the best way. We didn't have the cool things, and we pretty much all we have is each other against the world right now. Seriously? <laughs> it, it sounds like a very um, dramatic statement, but it's very true. Yeah. And even though life is kind of tough right now, um, we're still doing it, and we're going to do it. And if you guys really want to go to school and feel like you can't, if you really want to go, You'll go. You'll do. You'll yeah, take all so the steps true. it takes to get there. You'll get a job. You'll save. You'll apply for um, scholarships and whatnot. And that's kind of what we did. And yeah. we're going to go. And, you know, there's this amazing quote. I forgot who said it. But it's, uh, live the life you have imagined. And it's really cool because if you imagined whatever, like, ever since the fifth grade, I knew I wanted to be a psychologist. And I'm finally mm -hmm. going to go do that. Even though I always felt like that's an unattainable dream. Or, like, mm -hmm. anything, like, you know, whatever she wants to be. Sixth grade, um, I believe it was life skills. But I remember I <laughs> imagined in my mind. <laughs> like a home economics. Yeah, something like that. I'm like, what if I became a general preventive medical doctor? And I had two things in my mind, a doctor and a missionary, which I might combine the two or just take nursing out. Yeah, so if you guys envisioned a life of living like Mother Teresa or mm -hmm. Heidi Baker, who I would say uh, came very close, she's still alive to this day, you guys should Google her, she's amazing, lives in Mozambique, and um, you guys can really do it. Like, don't let your circumstance, your family life, yeah. your relationships determine your outcome. And like, it's true, um, there's mm -hmm. a psychologist that was saying like, whatever you envision in your head, like how you imagine your future is how it's going to happen. Like, so uh, I grew up around um, very bad marriages, a lot of broken marriages, a lot of fights, problems, mm -hmm. and I, for myself, it kind of left this impact in my brain that's like, I'm going to have a crummy marriage, too, and, mm -hmm. um, and I always kind of, like, imagine, like, marriage problems, like, you know, like, imagining, like, scenarios, and I had to stop that, like, a few months Me ago. Too. I was like, if I keep doing this to myself, I'm going to have that one day. So yeah. now I'm just going to picture, like, an amazing life, everything how I want it to be, and it's going to happen. Because when Seriously. you, what you uh, have in your head, like, you'll become that thing. What yeah. you behold, you'll become. Because, quoting, I forgot what verse in the Bible, <laughs> which is true. Yes, seriously. Um, um, I know, like, what I have to, like, still to this day refocus my mind from is, like, really taking those negative thoughts out of my mind and putting in the good, positive thoughts that God really, like, seriously, like, every human being, He, he created for His purpose, and He has designed, like, a, He has a plan, a specific plan for each individual. You know, um, what's it, Jeremiah, you know, I'm not here to quote scripture by any means, if, but if Jeremiah, you guys, if you guys, I don't, uh, 29, 11, 27, 11, but yeah. even if you guys don't believe in God, psychologically proven about the mindset stuff, it's still true. Yeah. So like, even if you're basing your philosophy or theory off the Bible or like science, either way, it completely like aligns it's really cool it's true but that verse it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And a future! And, and that, those words are like so encouraging to my life. But yeah, we have pretty large obstacles um, facing us, but we're just like marching through yeah. them, taking out those negative nagging lies and you know, the, the thoughts that we're so used to that they like made beds in our minds. And um, it's so true what, what Tatiana was saying, like what you, uh, what you have in your mind that's like pretty much like what future you envision, that's how it pretty much will unravel for you because like I have to keep myself from negative thoughts like, like let's say failed marriages because like let's say if I still c carry that mindset like I will have the same marriage that you know the relatives that I know had like if if a lovely guy comes around, like I'll feel like I'm not good enough for him, or um, yeah, it's or like same, I, I like, feel like Taylor packaged of lies. Or just yeah, in your head. if if like a, a bozo comes around, like I'll feel like I have to settle for less because like my life is, you know, gonna I, suck anyway. Might as well start like, it early. Oh uh, yeah, so I am like quitting those thoughts. And yeah, or like financial things. If you feel like, oh, I'm gonna be broke my whole life, then go to school, become a doctor, become Seriously. like something great, like that, what you want yeah. to become. I don't think there's a person that honestly thinks like doesn't have a, some kind of a dream that they want to mm -hmm. be in life. I know it takes a long time to kind of unbury it after you kind of uh, pluck out all the bad lies in your brain, mm -hmm. but you can really do it. Seriously. And, you know, there's always uh, the government is willing to help. Yeah. So, like, you know, if the government didn't help us go back to school, uh, we would still be sitting on our bones today, not going. Um, but yeah. anyways. Yeah. And even so though like, it's, like, a teeny tiny amount. Yeah. <laughs> and in, in the future, we'll still be in debt because we'll be paying off, like, 10 years full of loans. <laughs> it's still something. It's kind of a kick in the butt, you know, go it to school, is. like, sure. take out the loans you need to do, and at least you have, you know, a couple of thousand from the government. Mm -hmm. It's just something, you know, it's a little encouraging. But, um, okay, so, yeah, our family life, we have a mom and a dad. They're still mm -hmm. currently married, and they also live in South Florida. We have two older brothers who are both married with amazing sister-in-laws yeah. and um, we have an, another sister actually she's living in the Midwest right now and we have a younger sister as well so it's a pretty big family we all um, mm -hmm. were born in Russia um, we are 50% Russian and we are 50% Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. Our dad is from the Ukraine and my mom is from the from from the Russia, from Russia. And so we were my whole family was born there except our little sister and we immigrated to America in 91 when uh, Russia just stopped being communist. Mm -hmm. The gates were open. It was a dream for the people to to go to America. People imagine to this day, people, uh, like in the more village areas in Russia, imagine yeah. America as like the 90210 lifestyle, <laughs> money growing on trees, Ferraris, Seriously. everything available to you. And when we got there, we realized that's not how it is. And we actually uh, moved straight to New York. We lived in New York for um, three years. Mm -hmm. And we moved to uh, North Carolina, which is our, like, love obsession. Seriously. So we've, we've kind of been around um, a lot. And a lot of people are like, why did you guys come here from